This is the vlog right here, bro. That is pretty cool. The Gorilla Pod's nice. So this is Andrew Vicente, yeah, aka that Amplified. Yup. He does stuff. You may not know, but he does a lot of different stuff. I do a lot of stuff. What kind of stuff you do, dude? Well, I do cinematography, son. Oh, so hot what, damn. what young young cat Casey is doing right now is pretty much what I do every single day, except I don't vlog. Yeah, it's way different. Way different. Actually, so it's nothing like what Casey. We're like doing. cousins. We're, We're like, like cousins. Yeah. Our work is like our work is like cousins. So is our rap. Story of a samurai, warriors, cold, who she don't warriors, way cold of conduct, loyalty, devotion, honor, tell death, live it till the fullest of the very last breath, till the very last beat in the samurai's chest, who she don't warriors, way cold of conduct, loyalty, devotion, honor, tell death, live it till the fullest of the very last breath, till the very last beat in the samurai's chest. Colorful, bland, that beautiful dress Come save me, girl, I'll burn away You so ultraviolet, I can feel your rays I've been feeling hot for a long time And maybe you'll never notice your sunshine But this ain't new to me 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 That's true That's actually very true We're like yeah, cousins it is. We are like cousins, dude But that's, that's alright, so though You know? So, Andrew, like I said, you know, he makes music and stuff, too He's a musician uh, you should check his music out. You're on Spotify, right? I'm on Spotify, Young Sound Clizzle. So we're on our way to Frisco right now because we're gonna go uh, see Connor and we're gonna go see uh, Logic. Yeah, we're gonna see a show today. So yeah, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna go see Logic and. That's a pretty good show. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to film that because uh, cameras are not allowed in there. But I mean, I'll probably get some stuff on my phone or whatever. So we missed the train. Yeah. <laughs> missed the train, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude, I swear. I was, I was hoping to get some nice B-roll on that train. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> Okay, so I had um, a kind of, an, not an epiphany, but more of like a realization that I think is important to address. And that is while uh, Andrew and I were at the train station today, these little girls came up and they asked us if we were vloggers. So I said yes. But to my surprise, as Andrew and I are sitting there in line, like I hear like one of my vlogs going off in the background and I like watching my vlog. Through a little more observation, I'm telling Andrew that I'm noticing that a lot of uh, my viewers and like especially like when I'm walking around with my camera those who ask me if I'm a vlogger are like young Millennials it, it you know it, there's a great responsibility I think with this thing to the kids growing up watching it it makes me a little more conscientious now I think of what I'm what I'm gonna put out but what I really wanted to talk about I think it's good to like pick the brain of other people that are trying to do things that maybe you've been trying to do you know somebody who wants to be a painter or a singer or whatever it is it's good to talk to somebody who's actually like going through it and to see what the process is because most times the process is neglected and all we see on TV is the finished product you see rock stars you see famous vloggers but you don't actually see the blood sweat and tears of what goes into it what advice do you have for the younger generation as far as like, what does it take to be successful? The journey started as soon as I graduated high school. Okay. And that was almost five years ago. Yeah. Everything that I've wanted to, like I've accomplished a lot of the things that I wanted to accomplish, but I'm nowhere near where I, where I like want to be. So real quick, and this is what I wanted to talk about too. A to B is that, you know, first of all, nothing happens overnight, but not only that, it's like, it never really stops. It never ends. Like even when you think you've reached success, it's you're never really done. You're always going to the next level, always to the next step. It's a, it's like a flight of endless stairs. So my dude here, he's he's been grinding for what? 5 years. He's done tons of shows. He's traveled around the country. He's been on the radio like by a lot of different standards. A lot of people would say that he's very successful, but everybody measures their success differently. And as you can see from what he's saying is even right now to, to this point it's like he's still going there's it's, it's the, you're always climbing that mountain I think the biggest thing that I I think the piece of advice is when you are able to be a hundred percent at it go a hundred percent at it I don't have any regrets but one thing that I haven't done yet is I've never 
given myself the 100% effort to get, for a true chance at. I feel like I, I have so much to give and so much more. Even with even though I've I've done a lot of really, really cool stuff and like a lot of things that, you know, I'm I'm blessed and like privileged to be able to do some of the things that I've done. And a lot of people in their lives they would never even like that it just wouldn't it just wouldn't happen. Yeah. It just like they would never ever see it. Like so so I'm super like blessed, grateful. All the adjectives to describe like how how humbled I am from the things I've been able to do and how quickly it's able to be taken all away and you know the the key the key is you know if you if you have the ability to do this go 100% at it and don't be scared like you must be brave or you can be scared but you got to be you got to be brave yep and I think the only last part that I can think of that makes sense to me is fall in love with the process don't don't get too fixated on the end result you know I know a lot of times we look in magazines and see on TV that people got perfect bodies and six packs and you know there's a lot of people that have those genetic genetics but I just think it takes hard work don't don't live by numbers don't live by your numbers don't don't get upset that you don't have 25,000 followers right away don't be don't be upset and don't don't live and like base your your self worth by the numbers. It's not worth it, man. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I got a color in the runnel. I I got a color in the runnel when it sounds like Colorado. Got a <laughs> I got a condo in the, in the runnel when it sounds like Colorado. She's so promiscuous like Nelly Furtado. Well, how's that song go? Uh, you're beautiful. That's for sure. I'm you're like beautiful. a bird. I'll only fly away. I'm like. She's Portuguese. You're Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. So she's kind of like. A cousin? Do you guys are like cousins? Yeah. Kissing cousins. You guys are gross. <laughs> Portuguese sounds trippy, dude. When I was like listening to some guy speak it like months pork ago. And cheese. It's like Spanish and uh, pork, pork, pork and Slavic. cheese. Slavic. That guy well, you like need uh, you need to make a uh, a ride on a ride on one no mm -hmm. make a ride on twenty eighth, Jim. Twenty eighth. Holy shit! We got twenty more streets we to go. We got twenty more We're streets to go. <laughs> you just gotta go straight for hell of days, man. I told you, Abby. I don't need none of your The sun! The sun, bro! Hey, um, is it okay if I cross the street? This is probably one of the best moments of the week, for hey, sure. There he goes. There he goes. It's one of the if best. If not the best moment of the week. It's probably because I'm not best. worried about anything. I'm just living. I'm not fucking... Hakuna Matata. That means no worries for the rest of your days. That's all I know. I, no, uh, sorry. Problem free. I'm a prodigy. It's underexposed. But I can always fix it in post, right? You could fix it in post a little, but you might get a little noise. You just you speak a little careful. <laughs> a little noise, a little green, could go a long way. So I'm taking over for a second. Just a quick sec. I think I'm in focus. Yeah, so we're here at China Beach. We gotta get it. The name's Young Amplified Player. <laughs> what the hell? Feel me? We out here. Yes. I'm hijacking the vlog. China Beach. Oh, this is sick, dude. It's actually this is really fucking sick, bro. Oh, it's like the thicket. Hey, I'm gonna get Casey in focus. Oh. You look like a weirdo. <laughs> yep.
like I said earlier, we're about to go to the Logic concert. And I mean, I kind of just wanted to cap off everything, this San Francisco segment. We had a lot of fun, but uh, not that it's coming to an end, not for us at least, but kind of for you in regards to like this vlog, so. You have anything you want to say to the people before we leave them, bro? No, not a damn thing. Hope you guys enjoy. All right then, peace out, Jim.